When you use Google, you may notice a lot of related phrases popping up as you type. For example, if I type the phrase child care, I can see a handful of keywords displayed in the drop down box here. If I type a space and run through the letters of the alphabet, I get more great keywords. Further, you can get even more novel suggestions if you start typing letters at the beginning of your query. You can ask fairly complex questions too. Suppose I want to write a set of articles on skincare. Then I can type in, is X good for your skin? As I replace the X with various letters, I get a whole new set of phrases. So what if there was a way to save them all? Well, now there is. Keyword Researcher is the best long tail keyword scraper on the market. Once you type a phrase into the search box, simply put an asterisk at the point where you'd like Google to suggest some related phrases. From there, Keyword Researcher takes over. It replaces your asterisk with each letter of the alphabet and saves the response from Google. This allows you to harvest thousands of long tail keywords in minutes. Suppose, for example, you owned a bicycle website. And let's say you were trying to gather a list of bike-related items that people are searching for. Try this query, asterisk for bikes. Or say that you want to target your pages for a certain clientele. Try bikes for asterisk. Or perhaps you want to answer some how-to questions in your niche. Try how-to asterisk bikes. Or maybe you'd like to know what premium items your customers are actively searching for. Try best bicycle asterisk. As you can see, there's an infinite number of search variations to play with, allowing you to generate an endless list of keyword phrases. But that's not all, because Keyword Researcher comes with a complete array of keyword management and SEO tools. Suppose I have a new client and they need an SEO optimized website for their low carb diet video product. So I head over to the Google Keyword Planner and type a few phrases. Now, I save the CSV file to my hard drive and start a new project in Keyword Researcher. Then, I'll just drag my CSV file into the import box. Okay, I just filled up my project with lots of keywords. Let's see what we got. I can right-click on the average monthly searches column and sort from high to low. Let's see. The Ducan diet is a competitor of my client's product, so let's put the keyword Ducan on the negative keyword list. So now in the future, when I bring in new keywords, my project will blacklist the phrases that contain that word Ducan. But now, let's search for some keywords that we can use on our website. I'll type carb into the filter box, and maybe add the word vegetarian. Let's see. Low carb vegetarian recipes, that would make a good article topic. So I'll make a new category for vegetarians and create a new content article. My new article will encompass all six of these keywords, so I select them all and drag them into my article. There, the keywords have been associated with my new article and assigned to the whitelist. I can see the whitelist if I click the white swatch here. But now, let's create some SEO optimized article content. So I expand my content panel and set a publication date and meta description. Okay, let's create some content. Now I can look at my article tree and see which keywords I still need in my content. If the word is colored black, that means I didn't use it in my content yet. So let's add the word plan to my article. Okay, I want to make sure I include all of this top one here because it has a lot of searches per month. Green keywords mean that the entire phrase was found in the content. See? Now the phrase is green. If I press the highlighter icon, then the keyword's location in the content will highlight. Later, I should probably look around and find some more keywords for this article, but this is just a demo. So let's repeat our steps and create four more content articles for our website. Okay, you can see my website's content strategy is starting to take shape. We've got five SEO optimized articles about topics that reflect what people are actually searching for on the internet. Now, let's say our website is ready to go live. I can export my content to a WordPress XML file, and then I can import it directly into my WordPress website. And that's it. My content is online.